what up y'all so welcome to the video as y'all coming in y'all smash that like button and subscribe to the channel you ain't subscribed now today is november 1st yesterday was halloween and i'm just wondering what terrence crawford was wearing because if he wasn't wearing a fucking duck costume or a Tasmanian devil or a goddamn ostrich. I don't know what the hell that man had on yesterday, but I know it should have been one of them. But anyway, I just had to get that out of my chest, man. My name is Mr. No Sources, and I don't have any sources whatsoever. You know, everything I say is just speculations and observations and things like that. Now, with that being said, right, People are saying Earl Smith versus Keith Thurman is next because Mauricio Solomon, uh, the WBC mandated it for the WBC. He, Keith Thurman is supposed to be the number one. They said Earl Smith put up an emoji upside down, smiley face, and, and you know, and, and Keith Thurman is next, right? So I said, damn, if that's true, Keith Thurman. Boy, it's about to be a shitty night. It's about to be so shitty. I hope Keith Thurman got a pepper on. Because he going to need that motherfucker. He going to need it, bro. He going to need a pepper. And he got to lay under the trunks. He got He need to have on a cup uh, uh, with a pepper uh, under that motherfucker. That's what he need, bro. Because it's about to make this man literally shit on himself at night. This Keith Thurman better take... All the stool softener he can a week before the fight to get all that shit out, so we won't see no disturbing shit. Cause I hate to be watching them fight with everybody else in the crowd watching the fight, and out of nowhere we just looking and then a pile of shit drop on the camera, and we like, ew, what is that? Everybody like, damn, yeah, what the fuck, man, shit it on himself. That was gonna happen. Keith Thurman can't take a body shot to save his life, bro. He can't. Manny Pacquiao literally had his man taking out his glove. You know, you, if you ever put on a glove with the hand wrap, nigga, it's almost hard to do like this. You know what I'm saying? You bend your finger and actually, you know what I'm saying, grip some shit. Especially that small. Keith Thurman really, literally grabbed his mouthpiece out and ran around the ring just to get a fucking breather. If Manny Pacquiao was able to make that man do that, I, I'm telling y'all, man. I hope there's people on the side because we ain't got time for no big breaks in the fight because once he shit on himself, the shit going to have to stay there for a minute because I want to see him finish. I don't want to see the referee talking about, time out, time. fuck all that. He been running around, ducking for years, and he finally get the smoke. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? All this time, Earl Smith really said, fuck Keith Thurman. He wasn't trying to give him an opportunity, but shit. One duck ducked him. So shit, he might as well just go ahead and just grab the other duck by his throat. Fuck it. Just shit. Some one of these ducks got to get it. Shit. Everybody ducks for real because Danny ducked him and Sean ducked him once upon a time. So to be honest, all of them in Caribou we had to take them niggas' belt. So really all they had duck for real, for real. We going to keep it all way a brick. I'm just saying. But Earl Spence and Keith Thurman would be a huge fight if this uh, thing is true because we, you know, we don't know anything. Um. This fight would be huge because Keith Thurman got a mouthpiece on him. Speaking of mouthpieces, you know, he like to spit them out, but he, he, he got a mouthpiece on him for sure. You know what I'm saying? He love to talk, and I can see him antagonizing Earl and, and just getting fucked up for it. You know what I'm saying? But this would be probably his retirement check. Earl Spence got to get him. I think Earl Spence going to get him everything he was supposed to give Bud, which is a whole lot of shit. So... Keith Thurman might be getting his eyes and his ribs taken, you know. I mean, Earl Smith, you know, he might be the rib collector for this fight. He might have to just change change his monikers, you know. Either I collect the rib collect, he might have to collect this man ribs this fight. 
them bitches definitely, he definitely gonna shit on himself. Yeah, ain't no question about it. You know what I'm saying? It might be a little piss come out too, but hey, I'm just saying. Keith Thurman is no match for Earl Spence, bro. He ain't even on Earl Spence level. You know, uh, one of the questions people like to ask, man, do Keith Thurman still got the legs he used to have when he fought Sean and, and Danny? Uh, no. He don't. He ain't got the legs no more. He'll be a little more stationary than he ever been, but where else, man? But I think he gonna try to bring it back, but it ain't gonna be the same. He ain't gonna be as swift. You know, and even if he was swift, Earl Spence cut the ring off. He, it, this was always a match made. You know what I'm saying? This was the fucking the worst matchup that Keith Thurman could ever have. He knew this was a fucked up matchup. That's why he was ducking it the entire time. He knew I can't take I can't take body shots. Louis Colazzo fucked me up till the body had me running. You know. Manny Pacquiao, who else? Sean. You know what I'm saying? Sean Porter even had his ass running. Everybody had this man running. And now he's finna fight the best body puncher in fucking boxing. So we know what's gonna happen. So the guys on the side, I need them niggas to be real swift when the referee tried to stop this fight to 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 have him pick up the shit. I need them niggas to have their paper towels and their fucking ziplock bags ready. Grab that shit, slide that shit up out the ring, and they got to get back to it. Because I don't want no breaks. Keith Thurman, he got to get all this shit. He, he been begging, barking up the wrong tree, and, you know, and, 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 and now Earl Spence finna knock a limb off. It is what it is, man. Uh, at first, I thought it was Jerron Ennis. I was wondering if it was Jerron Ennis, but a lot, a lot of people saying this. It's, I heard it from a bunch of people. They saying Keith, it's actually Keith Thurman, so I'm cool with it. Keith Thurman, Staniosis, or Jerron Ennis, all three of them was better than Amnesia, so Earl Smith was going to, you know, he was going to do what he do regardless. All those guys better than Amnesia, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I think this fight to do upwards of 500,000 pay-per-view buys, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and this fight just proved that Terrence Crawford is a bigger duck than what he already is because his, if this fight is December 17th, like people talking and, and, and Bud fighting December 10th, and we got he ain't gonna get no attention and for this fight. He ain't gonna get nothing. First of all, niggas don't even know how to find BLK. Second, who want to see you that bad to even try to find BLK? Third, Earl Smith fighting a week after. Everybody gonna be talking about that. So, nah, bro. Bud fucked up. He fucked up. But low key, I always wanted to see Keith Thurman and Earl Spence punch it up because I already knew how this shit was gonna end. This only makes Earl Spence's resume better, and it only it only it only helps him. It don't hurt him at all. You know what I'm saying? Fight somebody like Keith Thurman. You know, Keith Thurman got a roly type of mouthpiece. You know what I'm saying? He, he talks shit like that, so. He running his mouth. He got this, you know, sound like Mike Tyson and shit. He running his mouth. You know, Earl Spence don't really talk that much. So I can hear Earl Spence like, man, shut your bitch ass up. Nigga, you been ducking the whole time. You ain't beat me. You beat everybody. I can see this shit right now, how it's going to play out. You beat everybody. I beat already. I already know how this is going to happen. But that's my take on that situation, man. It's going to be a shitty night for sure, man. So. You know what I'm saying? Everybody should have get ready for the, the stinking smell in the building. You know what I'm saying? Get ready to be disturbed. Disturbed. Hope Keith Thurman got his pamper ready. Cause he gonna need it. Y'all hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. You're subscribed already. And I'm out, y'all. Deuces.